I'm gonna carry on properly now. Are you, are you gonna chop that out? No, I'm keeping that in. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm fully keeping it in. My first tip is pretty simple. Plan what you're going to do. I'm not talking about writing a big old list of things that you want to do or um, timetabling it out. You can do those things. I'm not saying not to, but I think when you're starting out, it's about having a basic plan either written down in a notepad or in your head that's going to help you achieve your goal when filming the video. And obviously hand in hand with that is why are you filming? Why are you creating this piece of content? Why, what do you want to convey to people? Having that set in your mind is super helpful when you're just making things. So, like now, my purpose and what I want to convey in this video is how to be confident and how to get better at creating content and putting it out into the world. With other videos, like the thought process and the purpose behind it was simply to make you people smile. If I'm dancing in my garden, I'm out here trying to make you people smile. If I've done that, I've achieved my purpose. If I haven't done that, well, <laughs> you know, keep watching. There's more stuff on this channel that's gonna make you laugh. <laughs> my second tip is to play with angles. Obviously, it depends where you're starting from. If you already have a camera, um, obviously you, this is really easy, but also if you are literally just filming on your smartphone, this can be just as easy as you saw earlier I went from being on this camera here to being over here where my phone was now that's something really really easy that you can edit in post-production um, and it can look really really effective from you looking at one angle and looking over to another another thing that you can do is if you have a family member or a housemate you can simply get them to move your camera or phone around to help you get different angles. It's really, really helpful and effective. And also it can create some very interesting perspectives and effects. See, currently my mum is behind the camera. See, exactly, I, I got her doing some work now. <laughs> but I'm really appreciative of it because this is going to help to create your videos and make your videos look so, so different instead of just being in one singular position. As you can see now, mom, mama is getting me from, you know, a low, a low angle. Hello. Getting me from a, a high angle. Come true. And all of these different angles can be used as cutaways in your videos. They can be used as main parts of your videos. It doesn't really matter. It just depends on what you want the end product to look like. Next up, lighting. Now, I am currently filming in my back garden. As you've seen, most of my videos recently have been filmed there. That's simply because I personally love natural lighting. However, I also have different lights at home, well, at, over there, so in my house, <laughs> which I use for my videos. Um, one of them is fairly like inexpensive. It's just an LED light, which really lights up a space. And also my dad had, well, has a studio light, which I actually don't know how much he paid for it, but I'm guessing it's more expensive than the LED one that we have because that one, um, the LED one is a lot more portable. Now, there are many, many different lights you can get. You can get the traditional ring light, you can get various different light boxes and lighting setups, but at the start, if you don't have the money for it, I wouldn't recommend getting it. All I would recommend is using the natural light that we already have because for the most part in videos, natural light is usually the best light. Um, that's the same with filming on your phone. Um, make sure that the light is in front of you so it's pointing at you. Make sure it's not behind you unless you're making, unless you're doing a specific effect that you want to be completely backlit, then fine. But I would always recommend if the light is in this direction, then you face that direction or you're in that general area. Because if you don't, basically, you'll either look really, really dark, and I mean, for some people that's fine, but you know, with, with this complexion, child, no, mm -mm, no, I'll be too dark. Not, isn't, it just won't look good. I'll just be a shadow, and I don't really want to look like a shadow, I want to look like a person. So, always make sure that your lighting is in front of you. Um, if you are using artificial lights in your house, specifically, make sure that they are 
not facing directly towards you because if they're facing directly towards you and specifically if you're wearing glasses they will reflect in there also you can tend to look quite washed out so it's it's always good to bounce the light off a um, white surface so like a ceiling is always really really good if you have you know diffusers or anything like that I will try and find some and put those in the link in the description below so you can go check those out um, but yes if you have anything like that please use them but when you're starting out um, obviously we're doing all this on a budget just start with the lighting that you have so if you've got lights in your room little lamps and stuff like that you can use them obviously as I said natural light is probably the best light that you can use so film near a window that's also really helpful now depending on your budget and what you want to do with creating video content you're going to need some equipment you may actually not need some equipment you may already have it but these are things that it's really good to keep in mind especially if you're looking to grow and do more things with video first off something to film on so whether that is your phone your camera anything like that your ipad that's probably like the first thing that you'll need or else you you got a can't video so have that obviously if you're doing it on your phone then get phone attachments for lighting you can get those kind of selfie ring light things that can sit on top of your phone those are really helpful um, to you know obviously help to light you and also they're not that expensive i'm fairly certain you can get those online for under 20 pounds which you know is great because <laughs> furloughed and fabulous we're feeling that in it also it's very important as well as keeping in mind your lighting also keeping in mind your sound so I personally I have a Rode microphone on top of my camera right now and as I said earlier it has a dead cat on it which basically helps with any wind noise I think there have been videos that I've filmed where I've been outside it's been really really windy and yes you may still hear that on the camera but it's cut it down a lot more because with without it on you can hear all of the additional like whooshes and the kind of bassiness of the wind whereas once that's on it takes out some of those sounds so you get more of a cleaner sound which is really really helpful obviously if you are you know just doing it on your phone you can get little ones of these for your phone but also make sure that the microphone on your phone is really really good because that can be really helpful again just test it out just film something on your phone and simply play it back if you believe it that it sounds good then great you have a good microphone on your phone if you don't believe it sounds great it's fine because i'm fairly certain that you can get like little attachments to add onto your phone earlier on when my mum was filming you may have seen the top of this tripod now tripods are really handy they are really helpful because obviously if you're on your own it can hold things up but on top of that it can help to keep things really really steady and having that steadiness is extremely helpful it doesn't matter what video you're creating um, if you're doing something handheld but you want you know it to stay a lot more sturdy you have um, different things that you can purchase that will help it to do that little gimbals that you can hold in your hand you can put the phone in and no matter where you're holding it everything will be level at the same time you can get tripods um, at any price at any stage um, the cheaper ones like the really really cheap ones they're usually made of plastic I would always recommend if you have if you have the money to try and get one that is made of some kind of metal because the likelihood is that's going to last you a lot longer and also because it lasts you a lot longer you can do a lot more things with it so you can go outside with it um, you could have a heavier camera on it so eventually if you do get a camera then you can put that on it without it kind of Boeing and I the very first tripod I had was a was a plastic one and <laughs> let's be real did that break yes it did um, because those tiny tripods aren't necessarily built for bigger cameras or heavier things so always bear that in mind those are some really cool things that you can purchase just to help to create your videos and make them a whole lot more interesting if you are looking to create videos for business and that's like simply why you are on here there are some good resources down in the description below from a very good friend of mine joe who i mentioned in the i am a cheerleader video she is doing brilliant things helping small businesses to learn how to kind of create not any like film videos but edit them everything like that so make sure you go and check her out not only is she an amazing friend she is super talented with video another thing that you can do once you've got your confidence levels up 
is playing around with tone. Now when I film a video, I like to make sure that everything I'm saying is not on one tone and my face isn't bald or anything like that. I basically like to make sure that everything is either lively or, you know, interesting. I don't want my voice to sound kind of sad or upset especially when I'm not like I wouldn't want to film a video like hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name's Darius hey. but in the same respect I wouldn't necessarily want to film a video like hi my name is Darius welcome back to my channel see the difference like I wouldn't want to be shouting and I wouldn't necessarily want to be like whispering or sounding really really sad this is not an ASMR channel, that ain't happening, we ain't trying that, we ain't trying that people, no. So make sure that you can play around with your tone, that you can, you know, add those nice inflections to what you're saying, and it's something that will eventually come naturally to you. The last thing after you, you know, you got all of the equipment that you need and everything additional with the microphones, the camera, tripod, lighting, all of those things, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Now, when you're filming, you're, you're going to make mistakes. It's inevitable. It's same in life, same with exams, school, jobs, anything. You're bound to make mistakes. It's gonna happen. So when you make those mistakes, you're gonna get frustrated with yourself. I'm not gonna lie. Have I got frustrated with myself whilst filming? Yes. Yes, I have. But mum over there be like, mm -mm, like mama knows. That frustration is completely understandable. So what you do with it, you take a step back, you leave it, I'd say leave it for a day, then come back to it and reevaluate why you thought it was wrong, um, what you think you can improve on, and then do it again. The I Am A Cheerleader video that you saw recently, I filmed that twice. Bear in mind how long that video is, I filmed it twice. Because the first time round, I was like, nah, like that, no, mm -mm, that ain't me, that. It was very, very different. I'd say it was a lot more monotone, and which I know is hard to believe. I'm fairly like here, there, and everywhere, but it was really monotone and it just wasn't me. So I redid it and I think I made it a lot more interesting and a lot more exciting. But yeah, don't be afraid to redo a video. Obviously, if time's of the essence, then try and do it in a timely fashion. But right now we in lockdown we kind of have the time so don't be afraid to redo things because you know it will really help you to learn and will help help you to be self-critical but in a positive way not um self-deprecating so not you know being horrible to yourself or anything it's being self-critical and the art of learning that is you know you can watch something and be like oh i didn't quite do this right next time when i film or next time when i edit because those are different entities next time when i do something i can do this different or i can do this different editing now editing is something that i could probably make a whole other video on but um it's fairly um straightforward the concept of it anyway it's like you get the clips that you want you put them in the places that you want you trim off the bits that you don't want and then you've pretty much got your video. Anything on top of that is additional. So like additional cutaways, music, sound effects, special effects, all those things, they are additional. There are thousands and thousands and mi probably millions of videos on YouTube that you can watch to basically show you how to edit things. I've recently actually been showing my mum how to edit videos and I think it's been going pretty well. Any videos that you've seen recently, like um, any of mum showing you different things that you can use on your hair and your skin, those I helped them to film them and I showed her how to edit it and she did the editing all by herself and I'm really really proud of her progression um, as I said last last week in well probably last week I don't know when that video came out but in that I am a cheerleader video I said how proud I was because I genuinely am I'm just so proud of her progression so you will be seeing more videos from my mama because you know <laughs> she now knows how to edit um, but yeah, that process, you can learn how to do it on YouTube. Obviously, there are lots of, you know, people out there, content creators, bloggers, YouTubers, who are fairly willing to share those um, bits of information with you because, um, you know, everyone needs, you know, a helping hand and it's completely fine to ask questions, so don't be afraid to do so. Hello, this is Yvonne Smith. 
Janie's your hair. Just been a bit silly. Anyway, I just wanted to make a little tiny video while my son was inside. He's so good. He's such a professional at his videoing and he's teaching me lots of things. So thank you, Darius. I just wanted to give you a little message um, on your your camera. Hope you love it. Love you too. Bye. So that's it for this episode of Furloughed and Fabulous. I really hope this was helpful to all of the people who reached out to me to ask about filming videos and equipment that they needed and confidence and everything. I really, really hope this helps um, because I know it can be daunting. I know it can be difficult, but I believe in you. I believe that you're going to get there. I believe that you're going to be taking over social media with your amazing content. I'm just, I'm ready and waiting to see them. Um, yeah. I thank you so much for watching. I'm Victory for you. Hope that you'll be victorious every day. I hope you stay fabulous and not furloughed. And yep, I will see you very, very soon. Bye.